Hey everyone, long time since my last video, uh, but what do we have in front of us? I know it's a little noisy in the background, I got some air conditioner, but this is something I bought on a whim. Um, I saw, most of you probably know that the Amtrak Viewliner 2 baggage cars came out recently from Cato USA, and I am very, very, very impressed um, with this. As you can see on the side, it says V-Liner 2, baggage car, item number. Uh, a lot of people are saying these are really, really nice, so we'll take a look at that. Got some paperwork about the coupler, Amtrak V-Liner 2, baggage car, phase three. Got the packaging, and ooh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> that is nice. I think Cato really outdid themselves with this car. I don't know how I'm gonna take it out since I'm one-handed with my camera today since I don't have my tripod. Wow. Wow. Incredible. Look at that. Oof. That is nice. Pretty decent in terms of weight. Underside's pretty typical. And it rolls, I think, really smoothly. And I like where you put the trucks. The trucks stay there. Unlike on some of their other cars, where you just roll them and then the trucks just drift in whatever direction they want to, this one here actually rolls decently. I, very, I really like that. And yes, it does have, if you look really closely, rotating bearing caps. Nice to see Cato starting to jump on that train, as well as scale trains, Intermountain, and I hope Rapido jumps on that train as well with the rolling bearing caps. This is very sought after. Uh, a lot of people I know for the longest time had to 3D print these, and they sold for a lot of money. They sold for almost two, three hundred bucks on uh, eBay. So the fact that this one here, they they're making these and selling these for a decent price, amazes me. It's got a decent amount of weight to it. To access the decoder and all that, you just simply pull this down. As you see, it slid there. Just a quick little slide that unlocks the bottom, and you can access the two areas for the decoders or lights. Now, they did say this will run on DC voltage or DCC in the paperwork, which is kind of good to know. So if you wanted to add DCC decoder for interior lighting or the marker lights on either ends, you can do that. Uh, one thing Cato used to add in the packaging was the uh, piece here for the coupler here. They used to add these in the packaging. Uh, they don't include them anymore. They're sold separately now, which is kind of a little bit of a downer for me because, you know, I usually like to have them in the package because then all I'd have to do is just take the truck off, swap them out real quickly, piece of cake, done. But now I guess they realize we can make a little money by selling these two indi individually. Kind of a shame, really, but I mean, you know, it's Cato. They're going to do what they're going to do. But I can't complain about this. This is really, really impressive. You got some detail parts you can add. Um, the painting and striping looks good. Got the air vents on top. Very, very nice car. I look forward to running this on my Pacific Surfliner train and my NMRA train, which most of you know I ordered the Surfliner cars in HO scale from Atherin Genesis. Got those coming in later this August. And this will be probably first ran on my NMRA train because I had a heritage baggage car but that's out of service because I lost the coupler box for it. I was changing out the coupler boxes and kind of lost it, the one on this end, and I have no coupler on this end now. So I'm thinking about what I'm doing with the Heritage car, the Heritage baggage car is just putting a flashing EOT on the end and hooking this, the Heritage one up behind this one and using that as sort of just an end of train car, I guess, like a buffer car, I guess you could say that's what they're called or a spacer car. I'm not entirely sure what they're called. I heard they're called buffer cars. Either way though, uh, it's very, very well done by Kato. Definitely nice, love all the detailing, all the labels, and it's really, really shiny. I really like that. They really did a good job on the, uh, I guess, stainless steel or aluminum. I think these are made of aluminum. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know too much about these. Uh, this car is relatively new for me. Since everything I buy is usually heritage or outdated. 
Um, this is relatively new to me. So I'm probably gonna run this with either the charger or my P42, we'll see. Uh, I'll do a full video review where I go into the full specs, details and all that stuff when I'm at my setup. But anyways, uh, that's all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this little preview of the Cato HO Scale Viewliner 2 baggage car.